Welcome to the first day of the seventh month. The number seven represents perfection, totality, wholeness, and fullness. So I pray for you that whatever you have begun at the beginning of this year, God will bring it to perfection. God will bring it to fullness and completion. For our second series, for the Hope series, we have the theme Rehoboth. And the theme is taken from Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26 begins with the words that there was a famine in the land, like that which happened in the days of Abraham. And everybody would move to a place of comfort in times of famine. But the Lord told Isaac not to go to Egypt, not to follow the rest to Egypt, but he should remain in the land and he shall be a blessing. And Isaac obeyed God, and he remained in the land of the Philistines. And that same year, he planted some seeds. And there was so much blessing attached to his farming, such that the Lord caused him to reap hundredfold whatever he planted. He had hundredfold blessing, hundredfold profit, because he obeyed God's instruction. My dear friends, these are hard times in Ghana, in Africa, in the world all over. The temptation to follow the world will be higher. The temptation to follow others to places of comfort may be higher. In these times, in these hard times, let's follow God's plan for our lives and we shall be a blessing. Isaac remained when everybody, almost everybody was leaving and he planted. But you know something? It wasn't as if the Lord caused rain to fall on his farm alone. There were others in the land of Philistia. They also planted perhaps, but their crops failed. Because Isaac introduced something new. He dug a well. In a world when everybody depended on natural means for survival, like rainfall, like streams, like rivers, Isaac decided to dig a well. He decided to introduce something new in the land of Philistia. He, he decided to introduce irrigation farming. And it is possible his father Abraham taught him that as a result of his own stay in Egypt. And he, he brought that to bear and the Lord used that to bless him. In these hard times, what new thing are you bringing to bear in your own situation? Are you introducing something new in your business? Are you introducing something new in your trade for the Lord to cause a blessing to locate you like Isaac? Then when he started and the Lord blessed him, every blessing comes with some level of envy and attack. And we are told the, the Lord blessed him and he became so powerful and influential, more than the Philistines. And so the king of Philistia, Abimelech, and his men came to him. And told him, now you are becoming more powerful than us. You are a stranger. Move from our country. Move from our land. And they moved him out of the land. And he moved on. He did not fight anybody. In the remaining days, weeks, months of the year, don't waste your energy fighting unnecessary battles. Just move on. Move on. Move on. And the Lord will still bless you. The psalmist says, the Lord is the earth and his fullness. The Lord has enough blessing for everybody. Move on. Then he moved on and the Bible said he dug again the wells of his father. Then just when he dug and he got water, the shepherds of Gera came forward and said, the well belongs to us. So, they were not part of the struggle. When they were digging, they did not show up. It was when they got water that they, they, they came forward fighting for that well. Then Isaac did not fight. He moved on again. He named the well Essek, which is quarrel or argument. Then he dug another well. And just when he got water, they came again. Another group came and said, the well belongs to us. Then he named the well Sitna, which means opposition, accusation. 
That word is the root word for Satan. Satan always accuses. Satan always opposes. He did not fight anybody. He left it into the hands of God. Then he moved again and dug another well. This time he got water and nobody came contesting the well. And he named the well Rehoboth. And he said, For the Lord had made ample room for us. The Lord had made enough room for us. I pray for you that in your business there will be bigger room for you. In everything you set your hand on to do, Lord, the Lord God will make ample room for you. And just when the Lord made bigger room and he settled finally, his enemies came looking for him. Then Abimelech and his men came and said, Isaac, we are coming to you. And Isaac asked them, what do you need from me again? You know so well that you, you hate me. And you hated me while I was living with you. Why do you look for me? And they declared to him that now we know the Lord has indeed blessed you. I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you in spite of every opposition you, you find yourself or you face. In, in spite of every accusation, the Lord will still bless you. Then Isaac did not fight them. He rather hosted them. He rather prepared a feast for them. They ate and he sent them off peacefully. That very day, the servants dug another well. And there was so much water. And he named that well Sheba, which means seven. It is the well of totality, the well of restoration and fulfillment. So in all, there are five wells in the life of Isaac. The first one, the Philistines sacked him and they filled it with death. They wanted to choke the source of his blessing. But they did not know that blessings came from God and they would always be with God. They sacked him, they, they choked the source of his blessing, the well, the water which made him prosper, but they could not block God from blessing him. That well stands for jealousy, envy. They sacked him, they said, you are becoming too powerful than us, so leave. It is envy, it is jealousy. Maybe in your business at this time, maybe in your family, maybe in your group, you are facing so much as a result of jealousy. Continue to trust God. They can choke the well. They can block it. They can fill it with all sorts of death. They can even sack you from your business. It will not stop God from blessing you. Then he, he dug the second well. And that one too was taken. That well stands for argument. If you want to succeed, don't engage in unnecessary arguments. Sometimes you wake up and somebody meets you. Maybe in a public bus, in the public place, and the person wants to argue with you, to quarrel with you. Don't engage that person in that. Don't entertain drama. Move on. The Lord can still bless you. Then he dug the third well and they seized it. That third well stands for accusation. Before you get to the top, you will face so many accusations. Maybe at the moment, you want to end your life because of a certain accusation and allegation. Move on. The fourth well, he named it Rehoboth because the Lord had made bigger room. It's the well which stands for enough room. And after all the jealousy, if you continue to move on trusting in God, after all the argument, if you close your ears and you move on, after all the accusations, God can still make enough room for you. Don't go about fighting. The Lord can still cause your room to be bigger, your businesses to flourish. And the fifth well, after he made that feast for the enemies and sent them off, the servants discovered that. And that was even bigger than the fourth well. And his name is Sheba. It's the well which stands for restoration, fulfillment. The highest point you want to reach in life, God is able to put you there. Don't bring anybody down. If they bring you down, God will lift you up. If they bury you, God will bring you out. If they want to put you in a dry well like Joseph, God will still cause somebody to bring you out. 
and he will establish you where you belong, the well of restoration. In this seventh month, my dear friends, that's my prayer for you, that the Lord will restore everything you have lost to you, every position, every favor, every opportunity, every blessing the Lord will restore to you. I pray for the blessings of the fifth well, the blessings of Sheba, that you receive fulfillment, you receive completion, perfection, and everything you want, the Lord will do for you. May you be blessed and may you be favored. God bless you. Bye.